Hello everyone, this is Kathy C. Ostrowski. I'm so pleased to be back with you. Not in the flesh, I guess, but certainly in voice and in heart and spirit. So today what I get to talk to you about, even though I'm not there with you personally, is an organization that I'm involved in that I want to encourage you to consider. It's called the Society of Research Administrators International. Like many of the professional organizations in research administration, we really have a vision to be a premier resource for excellence in research management and administration. So our mission is to globally foster and strengthen research management, administration, and knowledge transfer. In other words, it's to help us get better at doing our jobs. This is exactly the kind of organization that you and your new profession will be looking to get involved in so you can grow in your role. One of the features of SRA is that we have a pretty good amount of breadth in opportunities to get involved. You have the opportunity to get involved locally, for instance, at the upcoming Michigan chapter meeting, which I'll be talking about in a bit, all the way through international opportunities. For instance, the Michigan chapter meeting is going to be held very soon, actually beginning on Friday, June 23rd of 2017, and it will be hosted by our own U of M Dearborn. We're going to be having a really awesome complimentary pre-conference dinner at Buddy's Pizzeria there in Dearborn as well. The annual meeting will be held this year in Vancouver, British Columbia from October 14th through 18th. So just like some of the other organizations such as Incura or Nordip that you'll be learning about, we have a lot of annual meetings and conferences that you might consider plus traveling training programs, webinars, certificate programs, and more. I wanted to talk just a little bit about a very successful meeting that some of us just came back from. It was the joint Midwest Southern section meeting which was held in Nashville, Tennessee. And there were probably 20 plus folk from the University of Michigan. This meeting offered so many fantastic presentations in both pre-award and post-award administration and also had some great sessions on things such as auxiliary activities, onboarding faculty, and even more. Congratulations to U of M's Heather Krauss, who was the president at the time of this meeting. She's the post-award administrator over in LSNA, and this meeting was enjoyed by everyone. Congratulations, Heather. So let's talk a little bit more about this chapter meeting upcoming. It just so happens that I am the president of the Michigan chapter, so I'm really going to be trying to convince you to show up here. It's going to be held at the U of M Dearborn. They'll be hosting the conference. And I think this is a, a perfect place to sort of dip your toe in the water of professional organizations. One, because it's pretty economical. The cost to attend a chapter meeting usually are about $150 or less. I think you do have to get an affiliate membership, but those of you who attended the chapter meeting last year will not have to pay that this year because we're holding it within that year time period. The Michigan chapter, chapter happens to be the second largest chapter in the nation. And one of the things that's so special about the Michigan chapter is it literally was visioned over 23 years ago by really, really key U of M folks. Our own Kathy De DeWitt, Maureen Burns out of the College of Engineering, um, Jim Randolph, who, was, uh, who is iconic in the Office of Research and Sto Sponsored Projects, a lot of folks from around the University of Michigan were visionaries in creating this chapter. The theme for this year's meeting is Carriage to Crossovers, Cruising the Research Administration Highway. We're trying to stay in tune with the Dearborn sort of um, automaker zone. So we're hoping that you'll cruise straight out to Dearborn for this conference. One of the things that makes this conference so special for you as folks who are just learning about research administration is that it tends to be a great pathway for a first-time session presenter or a panelist. Maybe you'll attend a conference first, but then next year or the year later you'll say, hey, I'd like to do a session. You can see on this slide that I've identified just three of the many folk who have worked outside of their own comfort zones to present sessions from Michigan at one of the chapter meetings. If you're interested in getting involved in Michigan SRA or attending the meeting,
please do contact any one of the folks listed on this slide. Kathy DeWitt will be glad to answer any questions. She is a founding member of Michigan SRA. And then, of course, I'm the current president just until this meeting is concluded. After I complete my stint as president, Ruth Halsey, who is also a teacher in Navigate to You, will become the president-elect. If you get a chance, talk to any one of us, and we will literally beg you to attend. You're going to have a great time. Let me talk a little bit more about SRA International and the organization at large. Not only do we have, you know, conferences and meetings and learning opportunities in many, many different places of the country and beyond, there are also um, opportunities for you to secure a certificate. You can see from this list that the certificates range from clinical trials to financial management to grantsmanship, which we all talked about at the beginning of Navigate, and then getting a little deeper into such topics as research integrity and research law. These are really awesome programs, and I can tell you that as having attended several SRA conferences, they really gear the conference program so that you can knock these certificates out. So consider that as an opportunity to get involved. One of the other main features of SRA that makes it distinctive is that it actually has its own journal publication. The Journal of Research Administration is literally a peer-reviewed publication and actually some U of M folks have been published. If you get a chance and you know this individual, congratulate Carrie Disney of Social Work. She is a published research administrator with a publication in the Journal of Research Administration. In addition, if you get on the website for SRA, you'll note that there are so many webinars from the sort of high-end broad topics to really drill down topics that might be useful for you and your unit. Here are some examples of some upcoming webinars. Lessons learned from recent audits and enforcement actions. And then good clinical practice review and updates. And you can see that these are, these are coming up very soon. But if you get on the calendar on the SRA International website, you can see that we have webinars planned through, through the future months, and there's bound to be something that will be of interest to you. Speaking of the website, I'll finish with this. If you have interest in SRA, check out all of these offerings on the website, www.srainternational.org. I can tell you that SRA has, for myself, over greater than 15 years, been a place where I've not only learned more about how to do my job from a different vantage point, but also exposed me to a lot of friends from literally all around the nation that I meet year after year at conferences that I'm able to attend. Maybe you won't be able to attend a national conference straight away. But trust me, as you grow in research administration, you can find a way to get to one. So check out this website and check out this organization. And don't forget, ask one of us if you have any, of these quest any questions about this organization.